Hello guys! Today we will continue celebrating Native American Heritage Month and we will finish our artwork based on Fry Bread, a book written by Seminole author Kevin Noble Miller. Today is our first time painting, so let's go over some rules before we start. Our rule number one is never pour water on top of the paint. Be sure to never do that because our paint could get ruined if we do that. The next rule is hold your brush by the tippy top just like this. We are not holding our brush from the very bottom. We're holding it from the top or the middle just like this. Make sure that whenever you're using your brush you're softly touching it onto the paper and that you never turn it around like this. You always have to keep it on the tippy toes just like a ballerina, moving slowly. And the last rule is to never, never mix your colors inside of here. Be sure never to put your brush inside of a color and move it to the next color because then your colors will mix and then your colors will start looking muddy at the end so be sure to keep them separated now that we have gone over the rules let's get started with our painting all right friends so the first thing we are going to do is that we're actually going to start with the lightest color that we have and the lightest color is yellow so i'm going to dip the brush a little bit and then just go like this and go one two three I'm going to have it three times into here and I'm gonna go one two three again now my paintbrush is ready and I am going to start painting right here on the sky now if I don't have enough water my paint is not going to slip well so be sure to have enough water and then one two three one two three keep painting the part yellow all right friends now i'm going to go on to the second color the orange because orange is also light one two three one two three now be sure to wipe your brush Now let's go ahead and go to the darkest one, the blue. Now we have created a beautiful sunset. Now let's go on to the mountains. For the mountains, go ahead and paint them purple. All right, friends, now that we have done that, let's go ahead and paint the ground brown. All right, friends, now that we have done that, our painting is complete. Did you notice that even though I had some brown, my brown didn't go on top of this crayon color? That's because the wax that's in the color repelled that water that's in the water color. Just like in insects. Insects sometimes have a layer on the outside that repels water to keep them safe. So you have made a connection between science and art. Now, after you're done, be sure that you always, always try to clean your watercolors just like this and that you clean your paintbrush just run it underneath some water until it starts running clear and then you are done i hope that you have learned so much this week and that you enjoyed painting and learning about native american heritage month and remember to always be kind and helpful to people from other different cultures. I hope that you had a lot of fun and I hope to see you next time and remember to continue celebrating Native American Heritage Month. See you soon!